the Chicago Cubs and the San Diego Padres. Run column keeps adding. There's a ground ball to second and Horner boots it. Cubs, Padres. Marcus Stroman's team has a 7-0 lead in the third, 7-0, when San Diego hits and walks its way to a first and second two-out situation. Ball four, and he's got the walk. That's Jake Cronenworth who just took the walk and is the runner on first for this play, which will be super important. Oh, it's 7-1 to one now. Good for them. On the ground towards short, Dansby Swanson goes to second wow. and the force out there. The base runner Cronenworth stumbled over the second base umpire Ryan Wills. I don't think I've ever seen that. Wow. Oh, hello there. This angle shows a collision between runner and umpire. Let's try to get another view. There we go. The runner stumbled over the umpire. And now Bob Melvin is coming out and saying, hey, you got in the way of my The first question is whether this is umpire interference. The answer is no. Only two types of ump interference. Number one, the plate umpire interferes with the catcher's throw. Two, the base umpire gets hit by a batted ball in front of an infielder. This is neither, therefore it's nothing. I have not seen that in a long time, maybe never. I'll tell you what, and it looked like Cronenworth was going to have that little toss from Dansby beat. Melvin talks to Wills, Cuzzy is there. Phil Cuzzy's the acting chief since Bellino, I guess, is on vacation, so Ryan Wills is actually the call-up umpire replacing Bellino for this game. And of course it involves him. Sometimes, especially when we're getting our feet wet, I know it's happened to me a few times, sometimes you get in the way. You don't want to, but it still happens. Isn't that right, Joey? Jones able to race it down. And contact made, Joe Crawford. We know the rule makes this nothing, but is there any preventability here? We've done teachables about wild pitches before. T-Mac does a great job explaining the clearing the catcher concept, how to get out of the way of the players, reading the situation. This is different, of course, offense, not defense, and you're not looking behind you for the runner. So it's a bit different, but what happens here is it looks like the umpire might get a little keyed in to trying to take the play at second base because it's going to be a close play and drifts a little far to the right into the runner's base path. Bobby Melvin right there taking a look at it. Second yeah, base. it is. It's a bang-bang play, and typically they don't, they're not in that sliding lane. Taking a look at where everyone is pre-pitch, the umpire's heels are on the edge of the grass. That's exactly where they're taught to stand in deep B position, so that's good. This is proper, but here's where the clear the catcher concept comes into play. For this play, you're not exactly clearing a player, but you are clearing the baseline, as well as the base path. As long as an umpire clears the base path, they're probably clear of the runner running behind them. That makes logical sense. On this play, it appears the umpire simply didn't clear the base path fully, and sometimes the best lessons in baseball are served in the form of bruises, whether physical or mental, and there just might be one that results from that collision here. And this uh, four shot at second base, he blocks. Jay Cronenworth, and he's out. If he's not there, that is a really close play at second. There you have it. Thanks for the question. Visit us online at closecallsports.com. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the site. Just trying to get in position to make that call, but he was, he was in control all 